Lucas Media, smash the like button, y'all subscribe. But Math Hoffa and Champ been going back and forth for the longest. They both went on different podcasts and aired out each other differences. You know, Math Hoffa from my expert. Well, Bimmy, Bimmy, who's been trying to look out for Champ per uh, per him, is now accusing Champ of stealing. Not from him, but from a business partner that they might have had. Now, Math Hoffa said that he let go of Champ, one, because he was lying and basically he ripped them off as well to a degree something about a jeep math got him to gave him the money in the jeep but champ capped it and lied about it and champ said he had an issue with his grandma math said uh they went out to go eat someplace in new york and they ran into him and he was in there having a good time and was like yo my bad and so and math has been under a lot of heat there's he's lost i think everybody but mecca from his original cast um and i'm sure the blame goes both ways but you know how it is you know how we are when black people we get around and money start being thrown around and some of us you know oh, me I, I deserve a bigger cut but to make a long story short bimmy came on math hoffa and basically said that champ stole i'm a pair i'm gonna sum it up but basically he took champ to well, potentially make some more money they they in this pool at they business partner pool in tennessee champ don't get in the pool but he takes the credit card takes one of the business partner credit cards then tries to buy a couple of cigars then spends over forty thousand dollars tries to at the apple store now people was coming at champ asking him to give his take on it and the only thing he said was that's not true and that is edited he said i know it looked like that but that's all i'm gonna say about it and then he hung up on whoever was asking him about it and honestly if this is true i ain't surprised man you know this is what we do a lot of us even myself you know there's listen there's people in my family that i love to death i love them but i won't let them in my house you know and champ did 20 i think he did what 20 some years in in the joint he talked something about it and you know a lot of times it don't matter what you do people are going to self-destruct or they'll turn on you somebody like me right and a lot of y'all a lot of us are, uh, you know, we got regular jobs, regular lives. You telling me that I got a chance to be on Math Hoffa's podcast. And no matter how much money I'm getting, the look alone to where I don't have to clock in and clock out every day the rest of my life. And I could potentially make several hundred thousand dollars just off of the look that he's giving. I'm not going to mess that up. Yes, we're going to bump heads sometimes. Yes, he the boss, good days, bad days. But you got to look at it from a bigger picture. And then Bimmy, for Bimmy to give you, you got another chance, another chance. And you messed that up by allegedly stealing credit card. But am I surprised? No, because it didn't be people that I didn't let out of jail and then screwed me over multiple people. And some of these were my closest friends and family. Or I didn't have people close to me somehow get a hold of my credit card. And when I confront them about it, no, I didn't do it. But AT&T is saying that you did it or singular at the time. Singular saying that you use it at this time of the day. Oh, no, bro. Uh, no, man. Uh, it ain't me. You know? So, we all can learn something from the Champ Math Hoffa situation. You got to leave people where they at, man. And a lot of times, those people, they don't care that you have a good heart. They're going to take advantage of you and squeeze it out. And not even just because they institutionalized, but because... They don't want to see no higher than that. Because I know people who then did 10 years and came out completely changed their lives. They did 15 years, came out and completely changed their lives. But then I also know people who didn't did five years and came out and went right back in because they own the same ignorant ish. And in order for this going to be Trank White to come out and give this side of the story. I mean, they, I see Math Hoffa got a quarter million people on there. And you've been hearing rumblings about Champ, people saying stuff from Math Hoffa. And you just hear rumors. But, man, it's just unfortunate, Champ, man. Bro, man, you had the, the opportunity. You had an opportunity of a lifetime. Not once, but twice. And I can go on and on. But like Hassan said, man, you got to pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. Because a lot of times, the people that you love the most or the people that you let around, the people that you're vulnerable with, be the people that's going to take advantage of you. But I can go on and on telling stories about this, honestly. Y'all know, y'all didn't. a lot of y'all have been screwed over to by people close to you that you didn't try to help and give a good look and you know like i said you get some of these ninjas out of jail and you, they still tell you to break they still talking ish about you behind your back after you did that i'm like damn i didn't got you out of jail i didn't got you on place but you still talking ish about me so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it who side y'all on am i tripping like always do y'all agree with math or y'all taking champ side and one more thing before i finish champ could go to jail you could do a lot of time look at sean kingston about to get hit with fair time more than likely so this is you, your freedom could be at risk so i don't know man i don't know you better be lucky that they didn't call the police or get the law enforcement involved but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it again what y'all think